Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It is me, Jordy, and today, got on the load board, searching for a little bit. I found one called, made a deal, they sent me the carrier package, I filled out the carrier package, and then within like maybe 10 minutes, they called me back saying that they canceled. And you know, it happens, it's, it's part, of the, part of the business. So I just, uh, you know, I told them, well, this was all over email. They told me they canceled. So then I messaged her. I was like, okay, thank you for, you know, letting me know. And in case you ever need us, this is where we're located. And we got two trucks, two trailers, and just, you know, just in case. So lo and behold, the same company called me back maybe 30 minutes later asking, hey, uh, I know, I'm sorry, we just canceled on you. Well, the customer canceled, but we have another load available. Would you take it? Of course we'll take it so we got another load we went to go pick it up currently my parents were the ones running it and this was like kind of like a, a, a literal local well I mean it was within like within a, less than 100 miles from pick up to drop off to the house like everything was within 100 miles so or in a hundred mile radius better said so my parents did that they already knocked it out uh, in fact they're coming back home from like the Texas City area and uh, of course, you see me, I'm in my truck of White Owl. And uh, about an hour ago, I just got a call saying, hey, I got, another, I got another, I got a load from you, but this is from a different broker. And I'm like, of course, let's go, let's get it. Work is work. So that's where we're going right now. I'm gonna go pick up this compressor. Uh, I believe it weighs like roughly 9.5, if I remember correctly. But you know, when we get over there, we'll ask, we'll make sure. And uh, yesterday, I had actually been there. I went there yesterday to go pick up uh, another compressor. And uh, I didn't record because it was a little bit of a... Um, it was... There was just basically no time to record. There was like two big rigs. No, three big rigs. Us two hot shots. Small lot. A whole bunch of moving around, kind of playing Tetris. I didn't have time. I had to just, you know, focus and direct everybody. Because uh, for some reason, I was the one in charge of directing my truck my dad's truck and three other trucks you know it wasn't really just me we all coordinated and talked but I was like the main one okay you move here you move here we'll, we'll do this it was it was a bit confusing but you know um what they wanted they wanted all, all of us to get back onto the street which you know it's okay if it's a big street but this is just a two-lane road pretty like four four foot deep ditches on either side so you know it wasn't like easy to just get out so you know us with the, the people on the property told us to all get out, except for me, because I was the first one there. And we, we didn't really want to get out because this could be more of an issue. So between all us truckers, we figured it out, we, we Tetris it, you go here, we made it all work as to where nobody got off the property. You know, that's what we do, we, we work together. But anyways, um, yeah, sorry I didn't record. Um, and yeah, so let's go pick up this load right now. Uh, you're not gonna see me drop it off because it's only a pick today, drop tomorrow, but you will see me drop it off potentially tomorrow more than likely I'll, I'll be the one dropping it off because then from there I'm gonna have to unhitch my trailer and use my pinnel hitch to hook up to this compressor that I'm taking to take it from there from the branch I'm dropping off to to another branch so you know I'll be I'm have a pretty full and busy day tomorrow but for right now let's focus on today let's focus on right now let's move forward and let's go get loaded Okay, so I've just now arrived on site. Um, picking up an air compressor, no big deal. Uh, I'm currently just sitting right now in their lot because it's a little bit crowded. And this is no other driver here, it's just the, the workers and their equipment and their stuff. So I'm gonna just wait a little bit. They're making a little bit of room for me to turn around so then they can put the compressor on my trailer. And yeah, I mean, they wanted to load me right now and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, give me, give me a few seconds. Give me, let's wait a few minutes. Let me turn around first. So I don't got all that weight on my trailer while I'm turning around. So I'm not, you know, killing my tires. And they're like, yeah, that's completely understandable. That's fine. So right now I'm just waiting to get some room made so I can bust a quick Yui face outwards, get loaded, chain this thing down and get a move on. So let me just give it here a second. I'm pretty sure yeah, it's, Everything's pretty wide and open, so I got no nothing really big to worry about. So let's get it. Let's let's turn around.
Okay, so we got loaded. The this time way smoother, way more simple, way more easy. Obviously because I was the only truck there. There was room everywhere because I was talking to one of the, the workers there. He said that yesterday all the trucks that came pretty much cleared them all out. So they're gonna be busy for a while and that's why there was so much room in the lot, which is good. Everybody got some work to do. And um, yeah, so it was pretty simple. The lot wasn't that hard to turn around in now. Everybody there was pretty nice and pretty, pretty chill. And I got loaded pretty quick. Strapped down pretty quick. I'm on the road pretty quick. Now, as you can tell, well, not right now because I'm currently like flowing right now, but I usually am gonna hit traffic, especially down here. But whatever, I'm loaded. I'm not in a rush right now. I'm just trying to get home safe and sound, just like everybody else in their vehicles, cruising. So, I'm just gonna take, take it easy and cruise. There are some crazy people, especially when there's traffic and especially when they see a setup like ours. Some, some things might happen. Like, these are some things that have happened to me. People have just noticed my truck. Sometimes they don't notice I'm hauling a trailer. They can like jump in front of me and then they think I got the power to stop and I don't. So I gotta brake harder and before I hit them and then they blame me, you know? Also, it's like situations like somebody's in the left lane, I'm in my lane, and then the exit's over there. Again, they just see the cab. They don't see I'm hauling a trailer. This has happened to me twice already. I'm cruising. Someone just, I just look in the rear mirror and it looks like they're about to smack my trailer. I just scoot a little bit to the side and they like react last second, get back in their lane. And they're like, what the hell, you know? Like, who put that trailer there? Come on. But whatever. Um, it I took me like a little bit longer. I would have left like maybe 15 minutes earlier, but I was talking to the workers there. Uh, another guy was a trucker. He was telling me little stories and stuff. You know, it's it's cool. I like I like when uh, you can have conversations with people and you know like relate. But I also like to get stuff going and moving. But you know, I don't mind a quick little chit chat. Tell me about a story when you were hauling a truck and a trailer, a semi, and you hit something. You know, I enjoy that because then you know you give me a quick little time to tell you one of my quick little two three second snap 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 a uh, little adventures yeah like this one time this happened this happened and you know it's a little back and forth you get and then you know you gotta try to chop each other's stories it's, you know it's all just like i guess part of the culture part of the lifestyle for some people from what i've noticed but yeah so just gonna go home park the park the truck in the trailer sleep get some rest wake up early in the morning tomorrow first thing in corpus drop this thing off Potentially unhook my truck, uh, hook up my pinnacle hitch to the back, hitch these up, and start doing little little local trips in Corpus. So it should be not crazy, a pretty easy day tomorrow. But yeah, so let's continue forward and we'll see what happens from there. Good old, hurry up and wait. Do what you gotta do. What I am happy about is I'm not in a rush. Otherwise, you know, a little bit of stressing, but whatever. Oh, dude, there's a cool car hauler right here. That's crazy, four cars, and he has a crazy uh, fifth wheel setup. Let's try and get a little bit closer. Potentially, maybe I can get him in a second. That's crazy. That's a big fifth wheel. I've usually only seen them small. It's a 5500. He has air hooked up to it, I'm assuming, as well. A nice auxiliary tank, just a nice cabin chassis, no flatbed. That's nice. I like it. Potential future setup? I don't know. Maybe not a car hauler, but maybe a fifth wheel. We'll see what happens. We'll see what are the, the future plans for good old JJJ Hotshot Service. Currently, we're running two 3500s with two 40 foot trailers. Let's see what the future has in store for us. Let's see what the major plan is in the end. So, I'm gonna not bore you anymore. I'll probably, I got nothing really else to, I guess, record. Unless you just wanna sit and see traffic for like 20 minutes or an hour. 
but whatever. Uh, leave a comment down below of a time, whether you do a trucking or you just want to go, you know, like pick up groceries or something, that you went, you showed up, you thought it was gonna take so long, you thought it was gonna be like a little bit, you know, not grueling, but you know, you just, you know, you, just, you knew you were gonna have to be there for a little bit. And it, the experience went way better than expected. It smooth, no hiccup. Well, maybe just one or two minor hiccups, but you know, nothing to, to ruin the experience, to ruin your, your little situation. Like me, for example, I showed up here. I thought potentially there's gonna be more trucks here, more people here, but no, it was empty. Paperwork was done. There was a little bit of a hiccup with the paperwork, whether the, the unit number and all that, but you know, that's nothing that, that comes with the territory. It's miscommunication, but whatever. You know, at the end, if you just communicate, you'll find the answer correctly. But yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below about a scenario like that. Uh, follow me on the Instagram, j.j.j.hotshotservice. And until the next one, stay safe, God bless, and you know, keep on kicking 2019. Three out of 12 is already done. Let's keep moving forward.